Hey everyone, good morning. Yep, it's the 5th of March and uh, had a great night last night of cowboy camping. And since some of you have asked, how do you take care of business out here on the trail? You dig a hole, right there. I think it's right there. You see it? Yeah. You dig a hole, you do what you gotta do. Uh, six inches, eight inches, dig a hole deep, put it in there. And that's what you do. So, uh, all right, um, gonna start the day. Here at mile marker 24.1, we have a seasonal stream and a bridge, and the water's flowing pretty well right now. Here at mile marker 25.5, there's water with a good flow, and if you go to your right, there's some boards so your feet don't get wet. At mile marker 26, the Boulder Oaks campground, you've got a composting toilet sit down toilet style thing and the most important part a spigot for water yeehaw one thing i did want to add about this spigot is that it is not listed on gut hooks and there is no sign designating potable or non-potable so it might be safe to filter it to be safe all right welcome to mile 26.5 what's so significant about 26.5 that's the one percent of the pct is complete only 99 percent to go Here we are at mile 30 at uh, Kitchen Creek Road. Got a nice trail angel stash right here, including Bud Light. And there's our angel, Ashley. Thanks, Ashley. Hey, good evening. It's the evening of the 5th, and we finally made it to camp. Uh, it's actually a pretty big campground. We got uh, some folks here uh, cooking dinner, and uh, we've got folks from uh, Australia, California, New York, and uh, so, but uh, it's going to be a good night, and I uh, look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning. Well, we slept last night um, here at this campsite at mile 32, and it was the first time we've actually shared a campsite with other hikers. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Um, Obviously, you got to improve a little bit of the trail community, but uh, yeah, there was only a little bit of snoring from the other folks, but uh, overall it was pretty good. Uh, I would say that uh, the campsite selection wasn't ideal, uh, just because it's the bottom of a valley, which means the cold air at night settles, so it is freezing. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, other lesson learned is uh, take your... Uh, your chapstick out of your pocket when you go to bed at night because I think every time I rolled over it was like it was like a, you know the princess and the pea you know rolling over it so that sucked um, other than that uh, getting ready to start the next day and uh, go here from mile 33 until I don't know hopefully 15 miles or so we'll see all right hike on all right and we are back on the trail and just came across this boom boom stay on trail that's for sure Here we are at mile 37.2. There's a stream right down here and a nice trail to get to it. It's flowing very well, but we're gonna go to the water that's listed on gut hooks that's 0.6 miles ahead, since we have plenty right now. Here at mile 37.7, we have a good flow of water, and I'm gonna camel up. Okay, so Chuck and I are getting some water here at this stream, and I got my system here with the dirty water bottle going through the Sawyer into the clean bottle but you see right there that is the Sun and it was actually going through the water bottle and focusing just like a magnifying glass and was burning my leg never had that happen before looks like we got a fire going on over there better keep an eye on that and see if we have to detour here at mile marker 39.4 we got our first pine trees and he's lined up for the field goal and it's good! Here at mile 39.9, we encounter our first snow. Here at mile 41.4, we got a good look at that uh, fire behind us. And of course, got to stop for some bacon. Also here is some sort of a campground. And there's the camp host. There's a trash can. There are bathrooms over there with picnic tables here and a spigot for water. And here at mile 41.5, you get the turn off to Mount Laguna Community, Post Office, General Store, Restaurants and Lodging for any resupplies. We got plenty, so we're gonna go the normal way. Okay, so I just got to the top of the mountain here and was able to get a signal, um, called down to the fire department, and it is a controlled burn, so nothing to worry about, in case you were wondering. 
Okay, just came across this fire restriction now in effect sign. I'm not sure if it's old or new, but here it is. Uh, right here at mile 42.1, there's a basin with a spigot and a water fountain right there, neither of which are operational as of March 6th. Uh-oh, trail's closed. Gotta head back to Mexico. Just kidding. All right, so we are at mile 46, and this is where we're gonna set up camp for the night on the 6th of March. Chuck is over there doing a little foot maintenance. Uh, again, we're gonna be cowboy camping. So uh, today was uh, was pretty good. Uh, I got 14 miles in, and uh, the terrain was much easier. Uh, let's see, so the terrain, there was uh, there was that controlled burn that kind of got us a little bit worried. Uh, no snakes again, so awesome for that. And uh, it's another great day on the PCT. We'll catch you later.